So, I when I replanted this morning, it turns out like half of the beans that I had saved for the replant weren't even necessary because like there's you get a lot of beans when you harvest. So we only really need to leave like two rows. Why are the streams ahead of the videos? Because I only upload once a day and there's typically I record a lot more than one episode's worth of content in a day. Now, how many of these? We're going to need to leave like two or three of these unharvested so that we can replant. Well, not unharvested, uncompacted, not compacted, not enchanted, unenchanted. There we go. That's the word. I think we have everything in order. We have the pet. We have the armor. Yeah, we're good. Do I bid two mil on your sandstone? If you want. Now, you guys know the rules. If I die three times, that's it for dungeons. But none of these deaths actually count towards ending the series or anything like that. Oh, man. Oh, why are you doing so much damage? Oh, you were a boss. That sounds terrible. Eat four times a day and do a little exercise. I... That's not something I can stick to. Oh, okay, I just died. Yeah, it's very annoying when I... Oh, where did you come from? No. 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 No! There was a second tank. Oh, they took my bonus. That's what it is. Any near-death stories? There was that one time when me and my dad were driving uh, up to his house during a rainstorm and there's this area that's notoriously bad with how it uh, handles water. So the drainage was not set up properly. Okay, ow. Oh my god, I'm already almost dead again. Yeah, that, that particular corner has like, it has a, a problem. The vent is full, like the, the drainage is full. So we hydroplaned. And if you guys don't know what that means, the, the car basically was riding on water. It, the wheels literally floated on the water. So then we lost control, spun out, hit a rock. And then as we hit the rock, it somehow spun around the rock. And it cut the floor like a can opener. And the force of the, the car spinning around and hitting the end where it started, cutting the whole floor off, the... Uh, the pressure created from the floor dropping sucked the shoes right off my feet. Like, it was insane. Like, my feet or my shoes got pulled off my feet because of the suction from the, the floor coming off the car. It was crazy. I've never, like, I've never heard or seen of that since. Like, that's the only time I've ever seen that happen. So that's one time I almost died. The other time I almost died is when I, um, I used to get strep a lot when I was younger. I'm not sure why. So long story short, you know, I got strep like once a month for like a year. And then they decided just to remove my tonsils because of that. But before that happened, I was given penicillin because, uh, you know, that's what you do when someone's got an infection. You give them penicillin. So they gave me penicillin. Oh, it's this room. Hold on. Pause story time to be big brain at least one of the others is telling the truth my chest doesn't have their award work bruh bruh <laughs> you know what never mind uh, moving on penicillin so i was given penicillin because i um you know i can't even freaking remember what i was gonna say okay yeah i was given penicillin because i uh you know was getting infections all the time so because of that, oh, there we go. We made it out. I had a reaction to it because it turns out just like my mom, I'm allergic to penicillin. So I start blowing up like a friggin' balloon. I got hives all over my body and my foot blew up. Specifically, I remember my foot was having a not great time. So like <laughs> not good. And that continued for about a week. And then eventually things got so bad that there was a hive that formed on my neck and it started to restrict my airway. So I was starting to suffocate to death. I was too young to understand what exactly was happening other than breathing hard foot hurt. Like, <laughs> um, but you know, I was rushed to the hospital because of this. They shot me up with uh, epinephrine 
at the doctor's. And it turns out that they told me afterwards, they told me and my dad that had to be shown up 10 minutes later, I would have, uh, ex I can't say the word. I, I would have suffocated and died. Exfixiate? I can't freaking speak. But yeah, I would have suffocated and died because of the swelling. So that's not good. Oh, you know what? There was a time where I almost died that was somewhat recent. I talk about C-Tech a lot, right? So there was this uh, facility called C-Tech. So halfway through the day, I'd get bussed over to this place. And I was taught some new programming languages, so I did that. And the programming department is on the second floor of this part of the building, whereas the first floor is a garage, and that's where they do welding. Fire alarm goes off, and we're all told to leave. So we leave the building. On the way out, I notice a, a smell, like a rotten egg smell. Ah! We're done with dungeons for today after this run. But uh, I get that rotten egg smell, and I see some waves in the air on my way out. So then I, uh, I leave, uh, I'm outside in the parking lot, and then I was told by my friend in welding that he was just about to light his welding torch <laughs> before the alarm went off. So had the alarm not gone off, then uh, I would have literally exploded. Yeah, so there was a gas leak. I don't know if I mentioned that. They were doing uh, construction outside, fixing the parking lot, and they hit a a gas main and that was just in the building all the gas so that was that was bad so yeah that's kind of annoying though that i've already died three times i don't know why but today my hp is trash like i have no health like i was able to hold my own at least a little bit before but today i just got wrecked i don't know maybe it's speed ring maybe it's finally time to build the sugar cane farm okay so what what are we doing oh cane is also easy to build that is true but here we go chat here i go placing dirt again except this time we don't have to suffer through the planting process i don't know as long as i'm just placing blocks really fast it doesn't matter what the order is why do you do that game that is rude yeah this is going to progress us very far because not only are we going to get the speed ring and artifact but it will also give us alchemy levels once we start spending enchanted cane but i'm gonna wait until i have either a sheep pet or a um I say something about 30 and I get warned that's absurd. You probably angered the bot. I don't even see any moderators in the chat right now. I don't know, just watch your language and don't put a lot of caps or emojis. <laughs> oh, that's something that's really funny I wanted to touch on actually. There was recently a forum post that came out was like, 30 viruses discriminating and silencing criticism because I got warned and timed out. <laughs> Meanwhile, it was Nightbot. <laughs> Like, what the hell? I literally had nothing to do with it. Thirty lied. He has twelve deaths on Sky Leia. They're dungeons deaths. How many times? How many times? It's zero. I used to be so active, chat. I remember I used to be a scout. I used to play soccer. I was doing martial arts. I eventually got black belt. I was doing all of that at the same time. And then I went to college and all that stopped. How would you react if Dwayne The Rock Johnson joined your chat? I don't know, it'd be kind of neat, I guess. It seems like we've gone through two thirds of the farm finally. This is the last one. Boom. I don't think anything's gonna actually go here because we don't have the water current on this block. Then we finally don't have to worry about falling in the void because all of this is uh, clogged up. Boom. I think we're gonna fix the flowing water as a second run of this. The first one, we're just gonna do this. The sugarcane farm is uh, almost, it's about 50% complete. Well, actually more than that, 75% complete. 
I can't believe I'm tryharding farms this much on a second profile. I thought I was done with this. I'm clearly not. If you die, I donate 500. Well, I'm not dying. <laughs> no, you got you got a freaking thing. You do it. No, I don't. I don't know what falling in the void or dying on the island in general does with <laughs> saving graces. It doesn't matter. You had a saving grace. Yeah, but do you know how many people would be like, "Oh, the challenge is technically over," even though they don't read description. Well, they they're gonna say that anyway because you die in dungeons and in the fire trial. Yeah, but it never adds to the death count. If How something adds to, here? I don't. Actually, okay, we'll do it anyway because then it'll be funny. No, I'm trying to cobble together seconds at this point because it's getting rough going through those wads. Like, I, how long have you been placing water? Ten minutes. How long have you been placing dirt? Half an hour. Oh boy, see, that's forty minutes out of like like that's a fifth of probably. Well, actually, how long have you been going? Three hours. If you streamed for five hours, a fifth of the vod is placing dirt. <sighs> so, I think this is the type of this is the period where we have to take a lot of conversation and make that in the content. All right, say something funny. Uh, pickles are gross. That's not funny. That's not even true. Pickles are pretty good, but only in moderation. Too many nah, pickles is pretty pickles, trash. Pickles are gross. It says the guy that eats blocks of cheese. Blocks of cheese is different. Blocks of cheese are gross. It's not slimy <laughs> and like weirdly it's acidic. Cheesy. It's for <laughs> it's room temperature cheese. The worst kind of cheese. The best kind of cheese is really cold or completely melted hot really cold yeah like cold like if you get it on like a sub or something like a like a sub that's that's been in the fridge for a little bit that cheese will taste pretty fire but if it if it's if it's room temperature cheese if it's like that cheap room temperature cheese it's gonna be trash it's gonna taste like you're eating like literal slop where a pickle is all is all right in any temperature nah. that concludes my ted talk thank you for attending the thing about pickles is that the taste is so like intense that like if someone put a pickle on your burger when you said not to and then they take it off that won't matter the taste will be forever with that burger and you have to scrap but it or give pickles, it to someone else pickles are are meant to be well we didn't design pickles <laughs> but pickles are put well, we kind of did because they're buried by other textures and flavors Wait, what are you talking so you about yeah humans design pickles because it's like did they we design pickles you don't just grow pickles you grow cucumbers you and then make them into pickles by fermenting it in like salt water. Oh well, yeah. With a bunch of spices like, and stuff. We didn't. <laughs> you don't just like, grow we pickles. We didn't genetically engineer the pickle. No, but that's almost <laughs> like. <sighs> I guess we ate it in its process, like we did with like domestic dogs. Like we didn't. What? No. <laughs> that's... Although no. The, no. The pickle is the domesticated dog of the pickle world, Chad. Of the cucumber. No, world. that's not. It's tame. You tame a cucumber, you get a pickle. That's almost like saying if we tame beef, we get a burger. That doesn't make sense. Hey, <laughs> hey, that doesn't make any that's sense. That's how it be. You tame a you tame a beef, you're gonna eat it, <laughs> and that's a burger. Are you a fan of lettuce, Thirty Virus? In what context? Uh, what context do you not like them in? Mixed with anything that's not more lettuce. A salad. Yeah. I don't. Any, I, I can respect that. The thing is conflicting textures. I, I don't You're even... you telling me like soup and crackers are like off the table for you? I'm fine with crackers, but soup, nope. Why Why not soup? That's not like a weird texture. That's just... Solid like drinking suspended water, in but liquid. But it's got some protein in it. To me, that's gross. So you don't drink water? Chad, he doesn't drink water. I drink water. I swallow the water. <laughs> Well, I don't think you swallow water. It just kind of goes down. And then I eat food what? separately. No, you you don't swallow your water. You just kind of let it flow down. Well, you, well no. I mean, Bro, yeah, you know you, you swallow water. I, <laughs> no, okay. How do you consume? No, I, I looked just, it up. Just I let it flow. <laughs>